Today's topic is glomerulonephritis. Glomerulonephritis refers to a range of inflammatory condition of the glomeruli, which are the tiny units within the kidney that filters blood. Each kidney is made up of approximately 1 million glomeruli. Glomeruli remove extra fluid, electrolytes, and waste from the bloodstream. If the glomeruli are damaged, it can disrupt the proper functioning of the kidney, leaving it unable to remove waste and excess fluids efficiently. As a result, dangerous levels of fluid, electrolytes, and waste can build up in the body. This can lead to complications such as acute kidney failure, high blood pressure, or chronic kidney disease. Also referred to as nephritis, glomerulonephritis is a serious illness that can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical care. Glomerulonephritis can be both acute or sudden and chronic, which develops gradually over several years. Either type can be fatal. Causes Sometimes the cause can be intrinsic to the kidney or may be associated with another infection. Conditions that can lead to inflammation of the glomeruli include streptococcal infection of the throat, known as strep throat. Glomerulonephritis may develop a week or two weeks after recovery from a strep throat infection. Immune diseases such as lupus, good pasture syndrome. Vasculitis. Viral infections such as HIV, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. Endocarditis. Heavy use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen and naproxen. Toxins, such as exposure to some hydrocarbon solvent. In rare cases, skin infection, known as impetigo. Scarring of the glomeruli can also cause the condition. Scarring can be caused by high blood pressure, diabetic kidney disease, which can affect anyone with diabetes, focal segmented glomerulosclerosis. Genetic factor can play a role. Glomerulonephritis is linked with certain cancer, such as lung cancer, multiple myeloma, and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Symptoms Symptoms of acute glomerulonephritis may include urine that has traces of blood or appears brown, lower amounts of urine, puffiness from the face in the morning, fluids build up in the lungs, leading to cough and shortness of breath, high blood pressure, Symptoms of chronic glomerulonephritis may include very bubbly or foamy urine caused by excess protein, urinating frequently during nighttime, high blood pressure, blood or protein in the urine, as in hematuria or proteinuria, swelling of the face, feet, hands, or abdomen, poor appetite, nausea and vomiting, dry and itchy skin, muscle cramps at night, Tiredness may be associated with kidney failure. Diagnosis and treatment. A routine examination for another condition can lead to the discovery of the condition. The doctor then carries out a test to assess your kidney function and make a diagnosis of your condition. Tests may include urine test to detect blood cells or protein, blood test to measure the level of creatinine, urea nitrogen, and albumin. Kidney biopsy, where a needle is used to extract small pieces of kidney tissue for microscopic examination to learn more about the cause of the inflammation. This may be necessary to confirm diagnosis. Imaging tests that allow visualization of the kidney can be used to learn more about your condition. Imaging tests such as kidney x-ray, CT scan, or an ultrasound examination. Treatment. Treatment may depend on the type acute or chronic, the underlying cause, and the type and severity of your symptoms. Glomerulonephritis that follow a strep infection usually clears up without treatment, but the doctor may prescribe antibiotics to kill the pathogens causing the infection. Plasmapheresis may be used in reducing immune-triggered inflammation. One treatment is to control blood pressure, especially if it is the underlying cause of your condition. Blood pressure medications relax the muscle. Restricting the amount of salt, protein, and potassium in the diet may minimize fluid retention and swelling. Dialysis can remove excess fluid and control high blood pressure. This treatment option is used when the condition becomes advanced and you get kidney failure. Eventually, a kidney transplant may be needed. 
Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.